Okay, now we're going to look at the sights on these. We'll start off with our first from the 1870 single shots. Um, this was the Type 2 sight, which I believe became standard and regulation. And this one is set. You can see it has the different, the little latch goes in a notch there. Starts at 200 meters and goes up to 8. And then on this converted TS, surprisingly, it has, I believe, the Vecchi sight, which, as you see, has a different um, rear notch as compared to the uh, 1890 sight that was for smokeless powder. Now, why this one was converted in 87 but still has the older sight, this this site here is what replaced this. So the single shots had this second site, the more especially the rifles, is more manageable site. And if you look, there is 275 stamped on there. I guess the book says what that's stamped on there for is if you're aiming at something that's closer than 275 meters you were supposed to aim low. So that means this site is set probably to 300 meters. Or this one I think has two, so it was set at 200 meters. Now when they changed to smokeless powder, these sites were replaced with what they call the M90 site, which is basically just the leaf. It was a recalibration readjustment. I believe the numbers starting at four there, four there. That stayed the same. And again, we have 270 stamped there on the flat. But that's your different sites to compensate for the smokeless powder. Then, in the final conversion of the Vetterly system, we have this site here, which as you see varies from this. This is the site for the 6.5 Carcano conversion in the last one. And as you see, again, 275 is there, and I think... Okay, that one, the number starts at 6, instead of like this older site, 4. So, when they converted them, they had a different graduation. This is more for the 6.5 Carcano style and probably functions much like the Carcano rifle does. Some of them carbines started off at 6. So, but it still has that 275 there, just like the other ones. But that's your difference there. Now let's take a quick look at the front sights. Now, looking at the oldest one, which has the Type 2 uh, 1870 sights down there. That site, the front sight is on there solid and soldered on the place. You can't drift that, it's non adjustable like a lot of the very early uh, Carcano sights. The one with the Vecchio sight, I believe, or Vecchi, Vecchi sight. This one, I believe, is driftable. It's got a higher, if you look, it's got a higher block. And there's some sort of pin or something there. We'll flip these over and look at them. Come on, focus for me. Okay, the only way I can get this to focus get my hand behind it. But as you see, this site... Uh, I think can be drifted where this one is solid. So also the blocks higher. So the sights were changed from the early type 2 until you where you get to I think it's Vecchi site. Um, and this was what they used with the black powder until they went to the smokeless powder. Now if we go over to this one here, the rifle. Okay, you can see this is using the 1890 sight, 
very similar to this a high block okay with uh, I believe that is driftable Let's give it a rotation here yes I don't know if that's dovetailed or set with a pin or it may be driftable or not I'm not quite sure but we see how the sights progress from solid non-adjustable to something I believe is adjustable and then when we go back to the 6.5 conversion we are back to a solid sight that is not driftable for windage much like the old sight but the one thing is you can see if I can get this damn thing to focus you will see there is a datum line on this barrel I'll come on focus there is a line scribe where then this was soldered on and this okay again this sight I, well I don't know it looks like a line there I don't know if it's scribed on there now this is fairly solid it is not adjustable okay but hopefully I like to see if you look you can see on the site there is a datum line scribed on this barrel okay and these are set on there these are not adjustable so 6.5 front sight simple thing soldered on these two mid-range ones may be driftable for windage and the very early ones are solid and not adjustable for windage so we'll take a look at the left and right side of these sights um, up close we looked at the top we'll take a little bit better look at them alright when we look at them from the side here's our early sight type 2 and you see two the number two and the little blade locks into the notches here uh, so it starts at 200 meters now the uh, intermediary or vacuum site um, numbers are on just one side and that's your your side view there as compared to this one I believe the site stayed the same, it apparently looks, but they just changed the internal blade. Where when we get to the Carcano site, when it's in the 6.5, not only did they change that internal blade, but the numbering and I think even the notches and the shape of the site is different where this here looks about the same thing they just change this internal uh, blade rear blade where this this is a whole new sight system when we get into the 6.5 mod modification take a look from the other side and as you see here this thing has the other numbers three and that and there's a little B on this so this one they use both sides is two then this one starts at three and so forth now when I get up there it's just plain Jane here again these are one side has numbers and that's your button latch and that's your older style sight which basically and see this one here was ground I think that's 1870 Seven. So this may have been one that was converted. Um, and again, on one side, and just your button is how you release the sight to move the leaf up. And now this sight, like I said, is totally different. It has more numbers on it, more grooves, and is a different shape. So that covers your sight systems. 
from the 1870 to the 7087, the 80, uh, 70, 87, 15. So that's kind of a look at how they've put the different sites on there. And it's pretty neat to have the different variations to see how they changed them over time. So that's the Vetterly site system.